Let's get partying. Yes, we have some recessed lighting here, or down lights as we call it, for my ceiling in my bedroom here. And it is a Govee brand lights, and I paid $106 for this with tax here where I live in the US. But basically, I was either gonna get this or the Philips Hue, but the problem with the Philips Hue is they were $198 excluding tax, which is way beyond my budget for something like this. And it just seems like they are highly overpriced. And I've read a few reviews of people saying that they went from Philips Hue to these and they are just as happy with Govi lights as Philips Hue lights. But basically, we're gonna install these lights today in the video and then we're gonna try them out and see what they can do. Let's get started. All right, this is how it came packaged. So we can see four recessed lights in here. Build quality is pretty nice so far. It feels like solid, very solid, but it is plastic, but who cares? It'll still do the job. All right, so here's the old one. Basically what I gotta do is just pull it straight down out of the ceiling and then I'll show you the inside and what we have to do. Mm. All right, and here it is. So all we need to do is just unplug this orange bit here. Then once that's unplugged, we can just unscrew the little Edison plug there, and then we can put in the new light. We're gonna get one light at a time synced up with the app, and then once it's all done, I'll show you the end result. All right, and then all we gotta do is take the plug, which is basically in the ceiling there, and then connect it into here. And then all we gotta do is just press this whole new light into the fixture, and it should hold snug. Here is the color blue in the ceiling. It's so cool. I love it. It's great. Helps add ambience, especially when it's dark outside. So, all right, and here is the color. So, we're going to go from blue to red. Very nice. I like that. We'll do light blue. That is nice. Orange. That is nice too. Green's really nice. I like that a lot. And then yellow is okay. Purple. That's nice. And then if we go to like a color wheel, we can choose our own color here. We can do it like that. We can do this. There's also another color wheel here where we can uh, see the different names of the colors. And well, they're not really names, but they're just kind of moods and stuff. So that's really nice. And it looks like we have another color graph here or color. I don't even know what you call this thing. Uh, let's see, we can go to illumination here. I'm gonna set it to normal. So this is what I would normally use uh, just for normal activities. So 5600 Kelvin would be the color temperature. You also have darker colors like reading, relax, illumination. Wow, that one's really bright. <laughs> if we go to ambience, we can also go to mic here and it's in party mode. So you see if it hears noise, it will flicker the lights like it's a party. We also have dynamic here, which is a little different. I don't exactly know the difference. And then calm, which is less um, annoying and jarring. So basically we can go to scene here and we have some scenes like sunset glow. And these scenes, they, the color changes slightly in them. So if we like go to festival, we have Halloween and that's nice, Valentine's Day. We have like life section. We can do like night light, which is really dim. 
and study, reading, work, game. We got party. Oh, the, oh, I like that one. That is a cool one there. Candy. That's pretty nice. Technology. Uh, that's interesting. Fireworks. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Enthusiastic. Sweet. Heartbeat. <laughs> that's cool. Profound. We got relaxation. You can do like meditation. Asleep. Awaken. We could do music. We could do like cadence. Wow, that's nice. Mild. Yep. Light. And aspiring. Ooh. Yeah. We also make our own DIY presets here. Uh, I'm not going to really get into that. That's a bit beyond the scope of the video. And then here is what all the devices I have in the house and what they look like on the app, basically. Now automation, once we get into that, I can set a schedule for any of these devices. You can set it to go on and off at certain times or maybe during sunrise and sunset. Uh, and you can have it auto run, it looks like. So uh, we can also set it to probably be every day of the week or one day a week or two days a week. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that though. I'm sure you guys could probably figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, the devices, I'm just, happy with these lights they're great <laughs> i like it a lot it'll be nice to um, help with the mood in the room um, when i'm doing specific things like listening to beautiful music or trying to relax or trying to get over stress or maybe i'm feeling sad and i just want to turn on some lights that would be very nice all right and then here is the bedroom as a simulated nighttime i have the blind up in the window and uh, I have it set to multiple colors so you guys kind of get an idea of how it looks like with different colors in the room. All the other LED light strips are turned off in here specifically to see how bright these lights are when they're different colors. And you can kind of get an idea. It's definitely bright enough to light up the whole room here. Very nice and it feels like a special event is going on in this room now, like a party. And then here we go. This is how bright it is at full brightness. And this is 5600 K or Kelvin color temperature. I could make it warmer or cooler if I wanted to. I like the natural daylight color the most out of any color. But you can see this is the room as a simulated nighttime with the blinds closed, basically. And this is definitely brighter than my old lights, definitely for sure. Quite a bit brighter. I'd say probably each light is probably a couple hundred lumens brighter than the old ones. So it definitely does make a huge difference in here when I have to do anything like behind these monitors or have to do any tearing apart of anything in my setup. It would make it nice. And so, yeah, I'm happy overall with these Govi lights. I'm satisfied for sure, and I saved $100 by going with these rather than the Philips Hue version. Yeah, so I'm very happy. So what's my rating out of 10 for these lights? Well, I really can't say, I, because I want to know how long these lights will last, first of all. Um, basically, I know LED lights, they claim, oh, 20 to 40 years life, but it never is true. It's always usually three, five years max that we get out of LED lights when they're on all the time, like can lights. We've had can lights go out upstairs in the house after three to five years. So there's no telling how long they're going to last. Now, as for quality, they feel really nice. The plastic's very uh, solid. It doesn't hardly flex, which is nice. And it also comes with a little um, ring on the top. It's like a foam ring to help insulate the light um, from the ceiling, which is nice. I mean, if you really want to know my true rating, and this is excluding how reliable these lights will be, is probably a solid nine out of 10. I'm really happy with the brightness, the colors, and the functions of the light, and the fact that you can set a schedule for them and stuff. The only thing I don't like is that you, to control the lights, you have to do one at a time on the app, which is annoying. I feel like there's probably other ways you can control them too. I know the Alexa and the Google devices can control these lights. I don't have any Alexa devices in the house. I'm probably gonna have to purchase one now so that I have easier control over the lights. I do not like Alexa devices or Google devices because they're always spying on you, but I really have no choice at this point. If I wanna make it easy to control, then I'm probably just gonna have to suck it up and get a system. But hey, everything with the microphone and camera is always spying on you anyway. So, I mean, what's the difference between having these things behind me and having an Alexa or Google device? 
really no different. And that's all I have for now, folks. Consider leaving a like or a dislike and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it if you'd just subscribe. I try to put lots of quality into my content. Like over the last year, I've been really improving my editing flow and getting the editing down to a certain style on my videos. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you would just consider subscribing and leaving a like, of course. Leave a comment down below as well. Tell me what you thought of the video. Are these lights nice? Do you like them? Do you think Govi brand sucks? I mean, tell me what you think of these lights. Do you own them? Let me know, please let me know. Also consider sharing the video on your favorite social media platform. And that's all I have for now, folks. Hopefully I'll see you guys later and bye for now.